Greetings. Today is Saturday, the 31st of December, the last day of this year. And thank you for giving us the opportunity to journey with you. And for those of you who have been, who regularly listen to these daily devotionals, we appreciate you and we thank you for giving us the opportunity to take a few moments of your day and pray with you and spend time with you in the Word. We'd love for you to share this with others, tell others about these daily devotionals and encourage them to watch or listen uh, through their mobile device and be a part of this journey as we spend time in the Word and in prayer. As we close out this week, where we've been pondering on the love that God has for us, I want to bring us to this concluding thought in the New Testament, where the Bible tells us that our hearts must overflow in love towards God and in love towards other people because of the love that God has demonstrated and continues to show towards us. In 1 John chapter 3 and verse 16, John writes, he says, By this we know love, because he laid down his life for us, and we also ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. Ephesians 5 and verse 2, And walk in love, as Christ also has loved us and given himself for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling aroma. The Bible is saying, you know, since we know the love that God has for us, the magnitude of that love where He, where Christ offered His own life for us, therefore, this motivates us, this constrains us to now love others and give our, love, our lives for them. Now think about this. Whom did Christ die for? He died for those who were his enemies. He died for those who were the ungodly, the sinners, the people who didn't care about God. He died for them. He demonstrated love towards them. That means us. When we didn't love, we didn't care. We were actually enemies towards God. He demonstrated love for us. The point is this, that as believers, we must love our enemies. We must love those who disagree with us. We must love those who are opposed to us. We must love those who hate us. We must love those who want to kill us. You see, it's so easy to say to somebody, I love you when they love you, when they are good towards you, when they are on your side, when they care about you. But that's not the kind of love God calls us to. As believers, as Christians, as followers of Jesus, the kind of love that God has called us to is to love as Christ loved. That is, He loved those who killed Him. He loved those who were opposed to Him. And that's the greatest expression of love. Can you love those who don't love you? Can you and I love those who disagree with us? Can we show them love? Can we lay our lives down for them? And when we do that, that is when we are truly demonstrating the love of Christ. That is when we are truly demonstrating that we are followers of Christ. And that is the true expression of somebody who has received the love of God. If you and I have truly received the love of God, we would lay down our lives for those who hate us, who oppose us, and who are enemies towards us. That's when we can say, I've truly experienced God's love for me. As we journey through the year ahead, may we do that. It's a tall order, it's a great calling, but that's what we're called to do as Christians. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your love. May we not only receive your love, may we not only love you, O oh God, with overflowing love, may we love others to the point where we can lay down our lives for their sakes, to lay down our lives even for those who are our enemies. 
we can love them to that degree. Help us, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.